at gmail.com Street Smart Audio at YouTube Street Smart Fan Page Facebook Official dot Street Smarts at IG Street Smart Audio June 25th 2017 we're with Mad Jack Slater Pennsylvania independent performer extraordinaire and he will be guesting with us as we speak on ECW June 1st 1993 Wood What's thumbs up, <clears throat> thumbs up, thumbs down. Oh, for the show. Oh, for the show overall. Um, uh, I give it a thumbs up just cause. Um, basically, you know, what I'm saying. Long story short, they got me invested, and uh, they're using hot stuff international just right. So, I'm enjoy. I I enjoyed uh, episode nine. All right, uh, this is episode nine. Uh, the June first. Edition, uh, edition. I'm going to call you out and say because of uh, Battle of the Belts, this would be the Extreme Retro Review number 10. Hi! I was actually referring it to the on the list of um, the WWE Network, it's the ninth show. I know. So that's why I was. I just, any, any chance to bury you is. Uh, yeah, well, you know, so, but you, you, if you're going to bury me, you know, at least. Bury me accurately. You know, all right. That's that's all. You know. Host of Sully and Stevie V you from see, Cabrini. You see, I just pushed the dirt off off top of me, Jack. You know, say so he shoveled it on me. I'm like, get, get that dirt off me. <laughs> you still have some. You still have some dirt on your shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for getting it off for me. I no problem. It. All right. The geeks recap last week's tag title change and then uh, run down the format for this week. Paul Lee comes out and he suckers Stevie uh, out of out of the color seat <laughs> once again. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, so Sully and Paul will be on color commentary for this sh- for this episode. Awesome! It's nice seeing a skinny Paul Heyman for a change. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and he still have most of his hair too. Yes, right. <laughs> In a nice mullet format. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I prefer the term moule. Yeah. <laughs> 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 pretty enough. <laughs> All right, so we, uh, there's a replay of the tag title match from last week. Uh, we'll move on uh, to Super Destroyer number one with Hunter Q. Robbins the third versus Sal Wildman uh, Wildman Sal Belomo, aka Super D number three. This <laughs> this will be an uh, early ECW sighting for referee Jim Molino. Uh, lock up around the corners. Refs break break it up. Uh, Paulie sowing the seeds uh, about the the ref relaxing the rules. So going forward, you're going to start seeing, you know, uh, you know, you, you in previous reviews you've talked about how there's been blatant <laughs> right. chair shots in front of the refs yeah, and like, everything like that. And I'm I'm telling you, that's Paul just saying we're changing the product. That's what I'm talking. About. So he's he's formally addressing it on air, saying the refs are you know we're relaxing the rules now. Yada yada yada. So. Uh, so the, cool. the match is still the shits. So it was a, a, a couple of kids in the stand with some chili bowl haircuts. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that wow. was a standard issue. <laughs> right. I love white America back then. I'll have you know, sir. <laughs> well, so being from uh, Pennsylvania, uh, I'm sure you, you probably watched this growing up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, WPTT 22. That's what I had. It was funny because uh, this is how uh, off the cuff ECW was back in the day. They would start airing on WPTT, uh, WPTT 22. Okay. Saturday nights around midnight. And it would kick up and it would have the, uh, the, uh, the, what was it, Philly Sports Center? Or whatever the. Sports Channel. Sports, sports Channel, that's oh. what it was. They would have that kicking up the little logo and sort of it would cut out and then go right to WPTT's logo. And then it would air in. Mm. And you could see all the editing that they had to kind of <laughs> slip in there. It was very, uh, very, uh, what, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, hmm. Very shitty. <laughs> but it, 
was it was it was on the way to something great. <laughs> All right, Sal tries to unmask Super uh, Number One. I guess Number Two had already been unmasked. I, was it, it Hulk Hogan? It, it, it was or not. Or Andre? It, it was not. Uh-huh. All right, so Number Two runs in and then they beat him up for the uh, for the DQ for the DQ finish. I gave it a negative one thousand stars. <laughs> Kylo runs in, but then they, they start no selling Cairo because he's trying to he's trying to beat up on the super D's. But they're like no selling them. They, they get up, they start beating up Cairo. He's a goof. And then they turn the table. Uh, uh, Sal and Cairo turn the tables on the guys, uh-huh. and then uh, uh, super D's powder. And then uh, Sal turns around and then smacks Cairo down to the ground like a total geek. Dealing with his soul. How bad is that? <laughs> They won't sell for you, but they'll sell sell for Sal below them. <laughs> what the fuck? What are your thoughts on the match? Oh man, I just ended ended up feeling bad. At first, I was feeling bad for uh, Sal Belomo because I'm like, damn, he got his ass whooped by the Super D's again. But you know, he tried to join their clique without his permission, without their, without their permission. And then I started feeling bad for Tommy Cairo because I'm like, dang, mm-hmm. this. Like they don't really know what to do with this dude. What that you know what I'm saying? He just out here getting his ass whooped. He got his ass whooped playing Captain Saverho <laughs> for uh Sal Balomo, you know and that's why it don't pay to say these hoes. <laughs> I feel bad for my laundry. I could have been doing laundry while watching that fucking match. <laughs> they went from undefeated Tommy Cairo to losing two times in a row in subsequent in uh, consecutive weeks and then getting beat up by Super D's yeah. and Sal Belomo yeah. <laughs> I don't think Paul likes this guy <laughs> <laughs> alright so we got uh, Kyro and Osborne versus uh, the uh, ECW television champion Jimmy Superfly Snooker that's right and Hot Stuff Eddie Gilbert the leader and founder of Hot Stuff International uh, so Gilbert dumps Osborne early and then does some chair shots across the back Gilbert then hits him with the timekeeper's hammer. Uh, Gilbert pour, uh, pours pop on him. <laughs> he was thirsty. That's he was an ultimate insult. It, it, no, he was he was just a little dehydrated. And Gilbert, how stuff Eddie Gilbert being the consummate gentleman that he was, was trying to help hot, keep him hydrated throughout the match. That's all. Well, I, I didn't understand why he kept trying to uh, uh, serve him a beverage. It's because he's a great sportsman and a great host. Because that is Eddie's championship wrestling. Well, well, Osborne was trying to come. Well, he, he kept trying to refute Gilbert's uh, his uh, advances of the pop with wrestling moves. So <laughs> <laughs> maybe it was Mellow Yellow. I don't know anybody drinks that shit. So basically, Gilbert has the extended squash. Gilbert hits him with the can one more time. Given uh, Gilbert then goes uh, for an elbow elbow drop off the rope. Kyle hope spot, but a hot shot ends it for the three count. Dud Ooh, almost took it. <clears throat> that was far from a dud, and a hot shot almost took his head off. Poor guy, but that was a just a great showcase for the talent that is Hot Stuff International. Featuring the television champion and the leader and founder of Hot Stuff International in conjunction with the Dangerous Alliance, Eddie Gilbert. So we have Jazzy J.T. Smith versus Max Thrasher in a grudge match. I was just about to say. (laughs) Max Thrasher had the hockey mask on and he also had the hockey, like the Jason Voorhees hockey mask symbol going down his tights. <coughs> Look, he's trying to jazz up his gimmick, you know what I'm saying? So Paulie gives him a shot. Hopefully as he gets sent to Japan and meets Leatherface. <laughs> right. That should get in badly. It doesn't matter because Leatherface is coming to ECW pretty soon. Uh, oh, so, oh. Oh. <laughs> Quick start to the match, but we're interrupted by a PSA. Wow. So we got Jay Sully showing clips of the first show for the ECW arena. It's about 25 people in the crowd. Abram has a god-awful banner, and it has Eastern Championship Wrestling on it that some fifth grader drew. All these kids. Right. <laughs> no, 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 no. It couldn't be. Probably didn't have no kids yet. Oh, yeah. All right, so the clip is from the Battle Royal to crown the first Pennsylvania State Champion. Oh, boy. So uh, then you got Cairo Stetson, Winters, and his white boots. And Stetson gets dumped. So I guess it's the breakup angle for Le Moule. And I'm thinking that Le Moule is going to break up at the, at the Sizzler. So that was that. That was your prediction at the time? I mean, basically. I mean, they showed the, the forward in the clip of what's coming. And I'm right, right. It's going to be a, you know, a hot match to, for, the, for the Sizzler. 
Yeah, that pissed me off. Like, why is y'all showing spoilers in the doggone promos? And it interrupted my dude J.T. Smith like he was just a J-bro. And <coughs> well? What? Well, why even have the match then? Then they had a clip of the Super D's sure. and the blind versus the blinds, which furthers the Belomo angle. I'm sure Belomo unmasked number two here, and then Chris Michael gets added to the blinds to make it a free bird type group. And I figured at least Michaels is a blind. So, you know. So you got a clip uh, versus Snooker and Road Warrior Hawk. And then you got Morocco with the pile driver. Hawk no sells it, of course. And then Dark Patriot runs in. And then you got a clip of Dark Patriot throwing JT Smith off the crow's nest. So then you go back <laughs> to Max Thrasher versus JT Smith. Right. Every they showed the murder of JT Smith. <laughs> so got, back when he was alive, everybody. So you got Smith getting punches in the corner. Thrasher with the uh, feet on the ropes for two. The ref sees it, so he you know he gets off. And then JT Smith does the same shit for three count. I gave a negative a billion. <clears throat> I thought if they don't care about this match, why should I? Basically, yeah. I mean, you hearing it, it, it sounds terrible. Like they cut it, like like literally at thirty seconds into the match. <laughs> and this is a grudge match. Like we've yeah. seen the build up of the JT Smith Max Thrasher feud you know on TV, saying? and then it pays off with a thirty second intro and a thirty second outro, a two minute outro. Feet on the ropes, and that's it for Max Thrasher. It was a grudge <laughs> match that only two people cared about. <laughs> they spoiled the winners and Stetson uh, breakup and stuff. Show her all the other stuff Fooch just said. Like, oh, man. So you got a fuck, uh, uh, hard sell promo for the Sizzler. Moving on. So you got the ECW title match. You got the Sandman with the boy <coughs> versus Don Morocco with Paulie. Come on, Don. The boy is Peaches. And don't forget Don Morocco, the magnificent Don the Rock Morocco, is also a member of Hot Stuff International. You can't forget that. Quick roll up for two by Hack. A bunch of nothing happens in this slow motion ass match. Uh, the clothesline uh, to send out, send him, send, send uh, Morocco out by Hack, and then uh, Paul and Morocco have a powwow. Back in the ring. A little chit chat. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. They do some slow heel work in Morocco uh, powders. Uh, Morocco powders again. I apologize, Wood. Oh, it's all good in the hood, babe. They, they show a shot of peaches and I say, what the fuck does she have on? Oh, man. I thought it was a skort. Remember the skorts back in the day? I do remember the skorts. Do you remember the skorts? <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But it's just as hideous. And, you know, uh, hack with some small packages and some backslides and Morocco is totally, you know, getting out of it. So, he gets uh, he gets the heat on him. Morocco's tidy whities are totally showing in the match. <coughs> Happens sometimes. Sloppy comeback by Hack. You got a Paulie run in. Peaches jump in. Rebel runs in. <laughs> <laughs> Rebel runs in. He doesn't run in. He grabs Peaches. Hack gets Rebel. Ref bump. Sandman with the sleeper. Uh, Paulie with the phone. To the back. <coughs> No, I I could see where it look would look like Paul hit him with his phone, but what actually happened? Somebody had called Paul's phone for Sandman. Oh, okay. So he, being the kind gentleman that he is, went and took the phone to Sandman to let him know he had a call. I guess it must have been a, a boring phone call or something because it looked like Sandman just fell right asleep. So, Which yeah, took someone? It, it gave, yeah, which gave saying. Morocco the advantage mm -hmm. for the one, two, three, and the new heavyweight champion. <laughs> I gave it a dud. <clears throat> How could you give such a historical match that such set a precedent for ECW and Hot Stuff International? Well, I was going to say Hot Stuff International had all the singles titles, but coincidentally on the same night that they know the magnificent Don the Rock Morocco has a shot at the title that oh they just want to pull a new title out of thin air and have a tournament that none of the members of my group was in. Where was Eddie Gilbert in that tournament? Where was Jimmy Superfly Snooker? Where was Don Morocco? There was nowhere to be found in that little battle royal. So they just want to 
do what they can to try to steal the shine of um, High Stuff International in, in alliance with the Dangerous Alliance. And um, <clears throat> that's all I have to say about that. But that match was historical. I will not let you down talk it like that. And you will show some respect for the new ECW champion, Don The Rock Morocco. Well, in my defense, the match was a dub because Sandman was in it. Fair Ooh. enough. Fair enough. Because he's terrible. He is. Give me a kendo stick. <laughs> No kendo no, stick. No kendo. Surfer, surfer Sandman. Yeah, surfer. Surfer. Sand. Surfer Sting Sandman. So we get the the whole Hot Stuff Alliance jumps in for a big uh, group celebration. <laughs> oh, man. It was a great night that night. And Sully and Stevie wrap up the danger with the Dangerous International. Morocco gives an Oscar speech promo. He doesn't know where he is. <laughs> Snooky, Snooker gives a shitty line about TCB again. <laughs> Taking care of business. That's, that's what we do. Right you know, that's what we do. You, you put some J Bros in front of us. We take care of business. You know what I'm talking about? Snooker knows how to take care of business. Oh, he knows how to take care of business. Damn, business. In hotel room. You're damn right. <laughs> so overall, it was a, I, I say it was a terrible show. But I did laugh at some stuff during the show. Wood, final thoughts. I thought it was an awesome show myself. Um, Hot Stuff International consolidated their power. Now all we have to do is get the tag team titles. Um, we'll let Tommy Cairo keep the Pennsylvania Heavyweight Championship. You know what I'm saying? It's just a little ball for him. He ain't got nothing else to do. But we want to shot at the tag team titles. And, um, yeah, I thought it was a great show just because it was historic. I didn't like how they played my man J.T. Smith with uh, just interrupting his match uh, with that with all the spoilers, you know. So, but anyway, yeah, I liked it. All right. We'll be coming right back with the June 8th show. Until then, life is work. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya.